All right, today we're gonna to take a look at the snatch. Normally we build a lift from the ground up, but I wanna to start today by taking a look at our grip. Normally when we grab the bar for, say like a deadlift or a clean, we would say feet jumping distance apart or shoulder distance apart, toes slightly turned outward, and then grabbing that bar roughly thumbs distance from the outside of the thighs. For a snatch, you're gonna to wanna to have a wider grip. Normally what we want to do is coach athletes to raise one leg or the other, doesn't matter which one, and rest a PVC bar across the top of their thigh where their thigh and hip meet. You're then going to slide your hands out as far as you can on that bar and still maintain a grip with all of your fingers. This is going to put you in about the right position, give or take maybe an inch or two on either side for your snatch. Uh, as you can see, the next place we're going to go is to the bar and you're going to apply that same grip to the bar before you pull it off the ground as you did on your uh, piece of PVC pipe. Another thing we want to make sure we look at is how we grip the bar. Uh, if you're like me and you have rather small hands, using hip, a hook grip would be beneficial to you as it's going to allow you to hold a uh, much heavier weight as you're pulling on the bar. What that snatch grip allows us to do, or that hook grip rather, is to not necessarily hold the bar with all of our fingers, but to actually close our index finger around our thumb, which is going to kind of, I guess what you would call maybe close the circuit, so to speak, and you're going to be holding your own hand against the bar, which is generally uh, much more effective at holding heavy weight. Before we go any further, I just want you guys to know that the snatch is probably the most technical move you'll ever do in a CrossFit class and you're not going to get it on your first day that you try it, you're probably not going to get it in the first week or month and it's going to take quite a long time to perfect this movement however once you nail it you're going to be able to do something in the gym that 90 to 95 percent of people in America have no idea how to do. Your setup to the bar is going to be very similar to the clean except you're obviously going to have a wider grip on the bar than you do in a clean. You want to focus on keeping your butt low, your back flat, and your arms nice and straight. You want to pull all the slack out of your arms before you yank up on that bar. The first thing we're going to do is transition the weight into the heels by building tension in the hamstrings and moving the knees out of the way of the bar. Key here is moving your body around the bar, not the bar around your body. As the bar travels up in front of the shins and passes the knees, that's where we're going to start extending our hips and moving our hips closer to the bar in that full upright position. You're not going to thrust your hips forward and get up on your toes. You're actually going to make contact with the bar by simply standing up. You'll notice that when I get to the top of my second pull, that bar is going to be making contact with my hips. From there, I'm going to be shrugging up on the bar, literally as hard as I physically can, and that movement of that shrug will pull me down and underneath the bar. The goal being here not to pull the bar up to your collarbone, but to actually pull your body down and into the floor. From there, you want to maintain those active shoulders when we catch the bar that we coached so uh, specifically in the overhead squat, really locking those elbows out driving the inside of our elbow up and through to the ceiling. From there, maintaining your tight core, you're going to catch in the bottom and stand up. You want to try to keep the bar directly above your uh, midline and uh, more specifically directly above your feet. Any internal rotation of the shoulder, i.e not showing everybody how beautiful your armpits are, is going to create a situation where you could hurt your shoulder or the bar is just simply going to fall behind you or dump in front of you. The last two clips here demonstrate a hang snatch, which would be different from a full squat snatch or a power snatch in that you're not pulling the bar from the floor, you're actually pulling the bar either from just below your knees or just above your knees. This is a great tool, a uh, great uh, exercise to train, practice actually using your hips and getting your hips through the bar. Good shoulders, pressing towards your ears. Nice catch. 